Hi, my name is Kyle Houchins. I'm a tech and a trainer for McNeil, and I wanted to show you a little bit about SubD and Gumball and a little bit of the finger jiu-jitsu that goes into getting the most out of Gumball while you're doing SubD modeling. Um, let's start with a circle. If I just make a regular NURB circle and I grab the circle with Gumball on and I extrude it, you'll notice that if I select the resulting object, it's an extrusion, right? And in this case, I have extrusion set. You can turn extrusions off, and this would be a NURBS object. But what I'm more interested in is how do I get this to be a sub D? If I take this and rebuild it, and I use this box right here, which is to make it sub D friendly, I can decide how many sections I want. And in this case, it's going to be 10. And I say OK. Now, if I extrude, the result is actually sub D. Now, it gets cooler because if I go to my top view, and I grab this and I start scaling this, you'll notice that it starts to scale in 1D. If I hold down the control key, it actually will extrude a sub D in 1D, so to speak, right? It's flat. Now, if I do the same thing and I start, extrude, I start scaling and I hold down shift, you'll see that it scales proportionally, right? In, in two directions. Now, if I hold down control, I get a sub D ring, right? Which is cool. Now, the next thing that I can do is I can actually shift control, click, and sub object select one of the edges. And if I click the dot on the arrow, I can drag and extrude an edge in the direction of the arrow. If I shift control, click an edge, then I start dragging on one of these uh, C plane waffles here. I don't know if that's the actual word for it, but that's what I call them sub D waffle. And I hold down control you'll notice that it switches from a transform to an extrude. All right. Now, so that's a that's a cool little bit of uh, gumball trick there which is which is super useful because you can either go in 1D or you can go in 1D along a C plane or we can go and start scaling, hold down shift, hold down control and we can extrude a ring off of something like that. All right, hope that's useful. My name is Kyle Houchins. This is Sub D in version seven, work in progress. Go make great stuff. Thanks.